Hello, I'm Gabrielle Cantelli. I'm a level four visual arts and a senior in academic studio. NOCA has a certain atmosphere that you don't really get at normal high schools. So like here, we're taught to be a lot more accepting and creative and expect that from our peers instead of shutting them off when they express themselves. And that's an environment I really wanted to be in. When I first came to NOCA, it was hard. <laughs> like it's, it's a real learning curve, learning how to like do college based work instead of high school work. Like the teachers treat you like you're a college student instead of like a freshman in high school. So it was hard to adjust how I learned. From the very beginning in level one, Gabrielle was a really um, driven student. She really loved to um, feel like she was doing well. Um, she wanted to excel in everything she did. She was a sponge and wanted to learn everything. I've improved a ton. Like if you look back, like every student has this point where they look back at their work from the beginning of each year and they're just amazed by how much they grow because you don't realize you're growing while you're doing it. You just kind of look back eventually and you're just like, oh my God. <laughs> I've learned to look for deeper meanings and things, even in humanities and math and science, they kind of make you connect that to art and look for deeper connections than just reading out of a textbook. When I buckle down and do my work, it's usually a form of coping for me for literally everything. And at first, I just usually locked myself in my room and I would draw, but eventually it became about helping others express themselves through my work, because not everyone has the chance to do that. So it's kind of like a journal about people's very, very personal lives, but in a painting. Example, one of my body modifications was my friend Ashton, he was coping with being an African-American male and gay. And he had a hard time pretending to be someone else because his family didn't accept him and his friends didn't accept him and no one really accepted him in his whole neighborhood. And I represented that through piercing, well, painting him with piercings going down his back with angel wings coming out of them and it was just supposed to represent how it's like it's painful to try to be something you're not. Things that I think um, Gab Gabrielle does that makes her so special is that she sets herself apart from the other students and sets her own standards and doesn't worry about whether the other students are doing the same amount of work as she is. She just um, sets goals and, and tries to meet them and does a really great job at um, kind of developing your own routine. If I didn't come to NOCA, I definitely wouldn't have been exposed to lessons like color theory or compositions and just like even ceramics and welding and crazy things like that. Like nowhere has facilities like that around here for high school students. So that was pretty amazing. To me, Gabrielle um, represents what we expect of a NOCA student in terms of um, always excelling, always trying to do her very best. She, um, in every home assignment that she brings in, she's very concerned about making sure that it's complete, that she um, is doing work that she feels reflects her personal voice, and um, she keeps stretching herself in ways that um, we would never have known that a student could.